everybody. Today I'm going to share a word of God. Uh, in Genesis 12, 7 to 8, I'll go on. The Lord appeared unto Abram and said, Unto thy seed will I give this land. And there builded he an altar unto the Lord who appeared unto him. Verse 8, And he removed from thence unto a mountain on the east of Bethel and pitched his tent having Bethel on the west and high on the east. And there he builded an altar unto the Lord and called upon the name of the Lord. So God has already blessed his word. Um, I know a lot of things have been happening in the world lately. 2020 has been very strange at the same time. Unbearable. A lot of records of death suffering everywhere and we have a lot of questions i know i know a lot of people has questions in them and we've been asking god why is this happening and so on but knowing who god is i know he has a purpose for everything and so one of my devotionals uh god gave me this word uh, repeatedly in verse 7 and verse 8, God said, um, Abram builded an altar. If you have questions why God is allowing this, God is al allowing us to grow in faith in Him. So my message today is build the altar. Build the altar build an altar unto god it means that we have to build our relationship to god now is the time that we are in our homes um, god is saying that go and build an altar that's god's message for us today so um, with that note first note is that we need to fix our faith in the lord we need to fix our faith so if we are building an altar, it is uh, about building a relationship with God. And so as Christian, we need to fix our faith. You know? Christ is the foundation. He has to be the foundation. And when Elijah in 1 Kings 18, when he was offering a sacrifices where God has received it uh, against the prophet of Baal, uh, what happened was that Elijah arranged the rocks so it, it represented as the foundation so when we fix our faith in God first thing that we need to know is always remember what Jesus has did for you what Jesus has done for you always remember that church he has saved us through his blood there was remissions of sin so always remember what Christ has done for you Christ over whatever it is that you're facing today because when God paid the highest price for us so that we will be eternally saved through him then I know whatever it is that we're facing right now are temporary things but know that God is in control number two regarding fixing your faith is that meditate on God's word always meditate on God's word focus on the word of god so that's the second thing when we need to fix our faith we need to meditate or focus on god's word um the god's word has uh, it is life it is truth and that's what we need today three obey god's voice when we fix our faith we need to obey god's voice at all times and uh that is what is building the altar. And the other thing in building the altar is that first is fix your faith. Second is that position your life. You need to position your life in, in, refl in a reflection of, of who Christ is to us. So you need to be in a position. Um, after arranging the, the altar, I mean the rocks, what Elijah did was that uh, he placed... An offering on top of the woods uh, on top of, of everything that was in there so um, as Christian position your life as a living sacrifice you are the living sacrifice be on the altar you are the offering you are the offering so 
we offer our lives as a living sacrifice to God and that is one of the position that we have to take hold of in this life. Take up your cross, church. Uh, number two, live your God-given purpose. Each one of us has a purpose and by living our purpose is actually have uh, a reflection of sacrifice um, and God, God has... Um, revealed to us his purpose and his calling through his word and if you focus on god's word eventually you will know your calling and pursue it in the name of jesus so pursue it live your god-given purpose uh, number three is that when you position your life be like christ you know um jesus is the pattern he is the image of the invincible god and so as christians we are expected to be like Him. It is not that we are becoming, but in, in Christ Jesus, we are actually revealing who we truly are in the Lord. So, be like Christ, church. Um, be like Him. Be, be humble. Be loving. Be compassionate. Now is the time to be like Christ. Now is the time to reveal who we are into the world and number three point in building in the altar is that be consumed by the fire uh, be consumed by the holy spirit you know? it is no longer we who lives but it is actually the holy spirit living within us we are gonna be walking and living the spirit of the lord so be consumed by the holy spirit uh first note in being consumed by the holy spirit is that uh Kill sin. Be holy. Through through this, um, God has given us the Holy Spirit, not so as being a Christian we could enjoy sin, but that in it we can kill sin. No, I'm not saying we can't. We can no longer sin, but uh, I'm pointing out is that um, if you live by the flesh, you shall die. But by the Spirit, you will mortify the deeds of the body. So, being consumed by the Holy Spirit is to kill sin. Stop it and killing and go on killing sin. Because there will be moments that we would uh, we would do sin, but then when the moment you realize that it's not for the glory of God, you should stop it and kill it and go back to God second point is that being consumed by the fire is that walk in the spirit you are to walk with the Lord walk in the spirit and live out those fruit in the spirit so walk in it third is that be empowered and witness uh, when we are endowed by this power of the Holy Spirit uh, the power we become witnesses of God and so being consumed by the power is, is to go on preaching the word of God, no matter what it is. This this virus can stop us in spreading the good news. So, so go on and preach and, and and do what you have to do in the Lord. So I hope um, we all continue to build this altar. Fix your faith. Now is the time to fix our faith. Position our life in Christ. And be consumed by the Holy Spirit. God did not place us in, in, in allowing this that we stay at home, but God is building on our foundation that we are able to build an altar in our homes and within our family. So go on, church, and build the altar God wants you to build in the name of Jesus. And may God bless us all.